A death investigation is underway. Deputies were called to Songbird Lane in Gaffney around 6.30 last night. They say a woman was shot. Forty-two-year-old Keisha Tate was a loving, loyal, and amazing woman with a personality out of this world. She was loved by those around her and was always there for those in need. Her bond with her family and friends was unbreakable. Most importantly, Keisha was an amazing mother to 10 beautiful children. She was always a hustler and did whatever it took to make sure her children wanted for nothing. Sadly, Keisha would experience the loss of the father of her children in March of this year. Never could any of her family or friends have imagined that tragedy would strike again. Around 6.30 p.m. on August 27th, the Cherokee County Sheriff's Office deputies were called to a home on 155 Songbird Lane, about six miles north of Gaffney, an area near the North Carolina state line. The area is a rural neighborhood of about 40 homes surrounded by a mix of farmland and forest. Deputies received multiple calls regarding gunshots in the area. When they arrived at the scene, they would find a woman inside of the home suffering from gunshot wounds happened on Songbird Lane in Gaffney last night. The county coroner confirms that 42-year-old Keisha Tate was in her kitchen at the time when she heard gunshots. The Cherokee County Coroner's Office identified the woman as 42-year-old Keisha Tate, who had been struck in the chest by a bullet. Sadly, she was pronounced dead on the scene. According to family members, Keisha was in the kitchen of her home about 6.30 p.m. when she heard multiple gunshots. At that point, she looked out of the window to see what was going on. Shortly afterwards, she was hit in the chest by an alleged stray bullet. The Cherokee County Sheriff's Office investigated the scene throughout the night and quickly announced the arrest of Keisha's neighbor, 30-year-old Nicholas Schuyler Lucas, who lives behind Keisha's home. Apparently, he was allegedly target practicing and shooting a gun in his backyard. While shooting, a bullet struck Keisha who was standing at the back door of the home, causing fatal injuries. Family, along with friends, are speechless, devastated, and angry. They do not believe this was an alleged accident and express their feelings via several Facebook posts. One post states, I knew that at best, he would get charged with manslaughter. I even said it out loud, but I know that it was murder. Justice for my sister, Keisha Tate. Another post states, I haven't really been able to post my thoughts because I still don't believe that she left this earth like this. And the fact that his bond was not automatically denied. I have had exes whose bonds were denied because they were selling drugs in proximity to a school. But he shoots and kills Keisha Tate in her own home, and he gets charged with involuntary manslaughter and has a bond pending for target practice in a residential neighborhood. And there were numerous complaints on him, so there is a paper trail. Ain't no way God recently gave Keisha a second chance at life for her life to be taken like this. Please continue to pray for her children, her family, her friends, and for my hometown of Gaffney. The math just isn't mathing. The whole story just isn't making any sense. Sheriff Steve Mueller stated, this is a senseless death that could have been avoided had the gun owner chosen a safer place to target practice. It is mind blowing that a person thinks it's all right to target practice or discharge a gun within close proximity of so many other homes. Unfortunately, it's not against the law to be stupid, or our jails would be even more overcrowded. Our community needs to lift this victim's family and her children up in prayer as they deal with this tragic loss. A GoFundMe was created by her family to raise money for funeral expenses. Keisha's oldest daughter, who is 28, will now be the caregiver of her seven siblings. There will also be two fundraisers that will be held on August 30th and September 2nd. All proceeds will go towards her funeral expenses as well as the care of her children. Lucas has been charged with involuntary manslaughter and shooting under the influence. An autopsy will be performed and the investigation is ongoing.